You know, my wife and I were talking the other day about how everyone's got a successful entrepreneur inside them and they just don't know it. In fact, many people don't believe in themselves enough when they've got what it takes. She started several successful businesses within the food and beverage industry, and I've started one or two with an office. So today I wanted to shoot a video to remind people that they can do it. I just don't know what the angle is yet. So maybe we go for a drive and try to figure it out. You know, so many people at home have what it takes to be a successful entrepreneur and they don't even know it. They're doing a bunch of things in their everyday lives that's exactly the same as running a chaotic company. Yeah, maybe I should make a video about that. All right, now that we've got the idea, let's start with the first point, which I think is project management. Everyone's got a great project manager inside them, which is super important when you're running a chaotic business. And the first example is renovating your house. If you've ever done something like that, whether it's a small or a big project, look how crazy this stuff is. This is just giving me a headache even looking at it. I was also lucky enough to get married last year with my best friend. And she took the reins on that one. Within four months after me proposing, she planned and, and executed a wedding that was gorgeous and beautiful. I mean, if that's not a demonstration of being entrepreneurial and a, and a gun founder, I don't know what is. But on a similar vein, if you're not married, have you ever tried to plan a holiday over a couple of weeks with family and friends? There are so many different moving parts into executing that properly because you've got so many different people to take care of and logistics. It's the same as running a small business sometimes. Okay, another one that I firmly believe in is your ability to be uncomfortable. So being comfortable, being uncomfortable. Now, a great example of this, I think, is getting very large tattoos, funnily enough. If you've got the mental fortitude to sit still, you've got a high pain threshold, you're going to commit to something that's going to be on you for the rest of your life, kudos to you. It shows that you've got the grit to stick something out, but also you just know how to make a decision and move on. Another is comedians. My cousin's a comedian, and whenever I talk to him about his profession, it's all about going on stage, bombing, refining your jokes, getting better and better. Look, I don't really have an act anymore. I should probably preface this by saying that. I, 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 I just talk, and I hope. <laughs> I've been doing this for 13 years now, and I don't really... You're a lovely crowd, it's great to be here. Anyway, so, uh, pull it back, Nick. You know, they have to be ready for rejection almost every time they go up on stage in the quest of getting better. You know, something that's super important when you start a business, right? Because it's never gonna work the first time. Discipline, I think is a trait that translates really well into starting a business. And some great examples of that is you take care of yourself physically, you know? Not only do you work out, but also nutritional goals. You're making sure you get enough protein to supplement your, your muscle routine. Remember, it's time under tension or tut. You go running or whatever it is because you're training for a marathon. Those are great traits and qualities to have. Single parents out there slugging it out, but also maybe studying on the side or working a few jobs, I think have more than what it takes to be a successful entrepreneur. You know, not only are they juggling a million things at once, but they have the, the foresight to know that they have to invest in something else in order to provide a better lifestyle for their family. And that might be studying for now, but I also think starting something on the side could be a very valid option. They just need to believe in themselves or get that little nudge from someone to give it a shot. And the last one is a bit of a fun one. I call it DIY, do it yourself. If you're great at this, you could do anything. Here's a great example of a DIY that my wife pulled together. This was a kitchen bench top. It wasn't meant to be a table. And these legs were actually from a different Ikea set, which we ended up welding together. And we also had to create this HT bar cross thing so that it would be stable. You know, this is just a simple example of, and why, <laughs> why I admire my wife so much. If you can go into Kmart or Target or whatever store you're in and purchase a bunch of things to use for what their original purpose was not meant for, that demonstrates resourcefulness to a degree that you need when you start a business. I think the best resource you can have 
as an aspiring or a new founder is being resourceful. Yeah, so babe, the other day we were saying that we actually think everyone's got what it takes, right? Yeah, we did talk about that. Yeah, there you go. So you've got this. Here are some lovely pictures of our wedding that she planned in four months and good luck. So babe, we were talking about the other day about how we think everyone's got what it takes to be a successful entrepreneur, right? Right. That's it. <laughs> Come on, give me more. <laughs> Otherwise I'll put... <laughs> Is that all you're going to give me? I'll put you in the blooper then. Point it at her. <laughs> <laughs>